Hi there. So I'm just going to show off something I've noticed with the Renoise compressors that uh, makes them a little bit weird and I think might be a bug or something because they definitely don't behave like you would expect a normal compressor to. So I've just set up a chain of all these different compressors and right now they're all bypassed and they all have identical settings. So as you can see in this bus compressor I've got some uh, pretty extreme settings. Minus 30 dB for the threshold, uh, the ratio is 4 to 1, the attack's 5 milliseconds and the release is 50 milliseconds. And I've duplicated these settings across all the compressors and then just for uh, level matching and everything I've also put a Voxungo span uh, just to show kind of what's going on with the audio, see where we're peaking, um, and just have everything uh, gained up to about where it is uh, when it comes in. So you should be able to hear the compression pretty clearly. So I'm just going to start by playing this simple loop I've made. It's nothing uh, complicated, it's just a sound font playing standard MIDI drums. Shouldn't be compressed at all. Just your regular, regular drum samples, and we'll have a listen to that. Yep, it is some drum samples. So, first of all, we will take a listen to the Renoise default uh, regular normal compressor and see what that does to the signal. So, let this go and on. Off. On. And you can kind of hear something, maybe. Even with uh, what looks like about 15 dB of gain reduction, it's uh, pretty subtle. So just keep that in mind as we go along and then we'll start, try with the uh, bus compressor. The bus compressor is a little bit different. Uh, it's a newer design introduced in later Renoise versions and we'll give this a shot now. And on. You can definitely hear the compression in that one. Supposedly we we're getting a lot of compression with that. Uh, can't really hear as much as I would expect to, but it might be a more transparent kind of design. Uh, apparently there are two modes that it switches between. One is feedback modeled, the other is feed forward modeled, and depending on how the input is going, you'll get a different type of compression and it'll switch back between the two. So we've got recomp next. And Recomp is a pretty darn good compressor. I've just got it mostly set to the default settings and then, uh, you know, for RMS size and everything. So this is set to the exact same settings otherwise as our other two compressors and gained up to about where it comes in. So let's give that a listen. So I'll start with the loop. You can hear the signal just being completely crushed by this compressor. It's very aggressive settings and now you're hearing a very aggressive compression. Okay, so that was Recomp. So now we'll move on to another freeware one called JS Comp Shaper. And this one, same settings, minus 30 to be 5 milliseconds attack, 50 milliseconds release, 4 to 1 ratio. So, we'll give this a listen and see what it sounds like. On. And again. 
again very aggressive compression. See here, it's giving us uh, about 15 dB of gain reduction. I mean, we can really hear it. And if we look at the waveform, we can even see that the waveform is just getting completely squished. So this is pretty aggressive compression. So, very aggressive compression again. What you would expect to hear from minus 30 uh, threshold and a lot of gain reduction. And then we have Vanilla Comp. Vanilla Comp is a freeware compressor with no GUI. I think it sounds very, very good. I like using it a lot. And similar settings. And we'll see what this one sounds like now. This is by far the most aggressive sounding compressor that we have. It is just completely crushing the signal. You can see it in the waveform. It just gets very, very squished. And you can hear it just along the tails. It's just a very crunchy, crunchy kind of distortion. Not subtle at all. This is really hammering the signal. I would use this for parallel compression or something like that. Mix it back in. But you can kind of see what we're expecting out of a compressor sound when you drive it like this. So that gives you some idea. And then we go back to the regular Renoise compressor with the same settings as all the other ones, but not much change to the waveform, very little change to the sound. Slightly quieter, but you can barely hear any compression going on. And I'm a little bit confused. Because even the bus compressor, you can hear some heavy compression going on. Not as heavy as with the other compressors, but it's definitely there. So, for a peak taming compressor, uh, this one definitely sounds a little bit weird to what I would expect. This one is more in the ballpark, not quite what I would expect, but, uh, you know, it's getting there. And then Recomp, uh, JS Comp Shaper, Vanilla Comp, they're all behaving exactly what I expect a compressor to sound like. And Recomp and Vanilla Comp, uh, you can also change them to peak mode. Uh, vanilla Comp I had in peak mode. So, um, normally a compressor would be set to RMS mode, uh, which would mean it would kind of take the average value of the root mean square uh, window in 5 milliseconds uh, in this Renoise example, but you can change that to a peak compressor by just putting it to zero. So that would change the uh, compression uh, uh, slightly and give you a slightly different sound. Um, and for a little while I wondered if this uh, default Renoise compressor was doing that, but there's some more weirdness, especially with the meters and stuff. Um, so we'll put this Renoise compressor on again, and we'll bring up the gain, and we'll say about 10 milliseconds a hack, and this is a more normal kind of drum setting. Even though the peaks are definitely hitting above this, and we should be getting gain reduction, we're not. Which uh, kind of bewilders me. We have to bring it down here, and we get a little bit of gain reduction, but we don't get the compression we expect. Even with very aggressive settings, you're hearing very little actual compression. So, I hope that kind of illustrates uh, why I'm a little bit confused about Renoise compressors and maybe just kind of points people in a bit of a different direction uh, compared to using uh, the default Renoise uh, built-in plugins for a lot of things.
I think mostly the EQs are fine. Uh, you know, the phaser, chorus, they're pretty workhorse effects, but the compressor and uh, even the bus compressor to an extent have a couple issues that make them a little bit weird to use compared to other compressors.